Hey Scorpios, what's going on everyone? Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Hasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. All right, family, so we're going to get into this channel message reading. I'm not sure what's going to come out, so take on what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. You can have Scorpio as your sun, moon, or rising. Doesn't matter. Please take only what resonates and leave what doesn't. Make sure that you guys are keeping your notification bell on so that's where you can be aware when I go live as well as when I upload readings for you guys. Make sure also that you check out the description box for my cosmic spiritual shop that I have for different items such as evil eye bracelets that I have on my wrist as well as um, the seven chakra bracelet and different items that I do have on my shop. Also, if you're interested in having a personal reading, that link is also in the description box as well. Okay? All right, guys. So, let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guides, and ancestors. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Channel message reading. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, wish, cry, flow, vibrational energies, blockages, or monitoring spirits away from my channel, my home, and my space. Return it all to sender tenfold. So, more it be. Amen and amen. All right, what do we have? All right, so we have the number 12, Privileged Lady. Hmm. This is like a divine empress, a divine feminine energy, someone who has access to different realms of the spirit. This is someone who is privileged by their ancestors. This is also someone in like high standards, very high vibrational frequency. This is a woman who has a lot of wisdom, knowledge, spiritually knowledgeable. All right, tell me about this privileged lady. The number 12 may resonate with you or the number three. Yeah, this is someone who has access to multiple realms in the spirit. Hmm. This is someone who has been taken care of by God for so long. She's favored by God. What is privileged lady? Thank you. All right, so we have the number seven, which is the message card. So there is someone that is wanting to reach out and connect to this privileged lady because she has so much access to different realms, different doors to God, to the ancestors, the archangels as well. Someone has wanted to reach out to this privileged lady. Whoever this was, this could have been someone this privileged lady dealt with who were and was a false person. Someone she could have been married to that now things have ended. Okay, with the coffin car, Scorpio energy. All right, so <clears throat> let's get some tarot. Let's get some tarot. Going on here. All right. Tell me about privileged lady and message. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about privileged lady and message. One more shuffle. Privileged lady and message. The number seven may resonate. Someone could have been born on the seventh. Someone can have Pisces in their chart. Or someone can be a Cancer or um, Leo. All right. Tell me about this spirit. Thank you. All right. So, Six of Pentacles. Tell me more. I feel like this privileged lady is the Empress. All right. So, we got the Four of Cups here. I feel like, honestly, someone is wanting to possibly, I'm, I'm getting like an email or mail a letter out. This can even be a text message that someone is writing to this privileged lady. This was someone that helped someone. This is someone, you know, the privileged lady is, is someone who always share their wealth. They're not stingy. They're very generous. They believe in fairness and kindness, giving gifts and presents. This privileged lady is upholding the prosperity and abundance, light. She gives what she gets from God, she gives to others. She's definitely someone who gives back to the community. If someone needs help, they can count on her. But somehow with this Four of Cups, I feel like whoever this person is that's wanting to send a message to this privileged lady, 
she has helped this person, him or her before, and somehow the scales were not balanced. She gave more than what she received. So I feel like this privileged lady has stopped doing that. Things are over between them and whoever this person is. They feel like if they do reach out or if they come in person that you're going to reject them. So they'd rather just send you a message. Yeah. All right. Tell me more about this. It's almost like they feel like you're not going to be interested by them explaining themselves through, you know, a communication or some type of emotions. So there's like someone feels safer, like sending a DM, you know. Thank you. All right. So we got King of Pentacles. Hmm, tell me more. Yeah, this is someone who had a position in this privileged lady life. And I'm getting something about a possibly a marriage. Hmm. This King of Pentacles comes with a lot of abundance and prosperity as well. And so does she, but somehow in between them, there's some type of disconnect. Hmm. All right, so we have here the Knight of Swords. <clears throat> I'm feeling like this privileged lady can also be this King of Pentacles for some reason. This privileged lady is on like a certain pedestal. Like she may be operating out of her masculine energy when it comes to like making sure that everyone is okay. She's running her own business for some of you. There's a lot of success around her security and discipline. She's very grounded and loyal, and she followed God's orders. And I feel like the person who wants to send the message is this Knight of Swords. Someone is coming in fast because, again, this privileged lady is in a position where she can give back. And at the end of the day, she's okay. Yeah. What is the Six of Pentacles? And, of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So the King of Pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Knight of Swords, of course, Libra, Gemini. All right, Ten of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this privileged lady has been over backwards for too many people and it added more stress onto her. It's like she was carrying everybody else's burdens on her back. Yeah. And some even backstabbed and betrayed her. Because she was so loving and kind and giving. She got betrayed in the end by whoever this person is. And also other people. Her kindness was her weakness. What's the four of cups? Mm -hmm. Six of cups here. This is definitely someone from your past who feels like if they approach you that you're going to reject them. And that six is six and four is ten of cups. So I'm getting like you were in a relationship with someone. You had a family, a home. But somehow you gave more. And I'm getting this maybe someone's weakness. You know, if you see your man or your woman needs a dollar or they need a ride or they need help with a resume, whatever it is, you're quick to help someone but somehow it turned around and bites you in the ass in the, in, in the long run which is nothing wrong with that you are divine feminine divine masculine energy mm. you were carrying on too much burdens and extra responsibility that wasn't yours yeah yeah someone wants to reconcile this soulmate connection here but they feel as though if they approach you you're going to reject them because you've already given so much of yourself before and i don't feel like you want to take all those burdens anymore yeah. All right. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. You and whoever this person is have some type of history together. Thank you. All right. So we have two cards, Six of Wands and the Hermit, Virgo energy. And I really feel like this is your energy here, this King of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like when you worked on yourself, you faced your inner demons, you did the healing work, you also kind of like connected more with God as well. You became more grounded and stable. This is when all of your recognition and reward 
So you had to go through a process to get where you are. So this could have been a promotion in the spiritual realm. You could have moved up from a high priestess to an empress or whatever. Whatever it is, you're getting like some type of recognition and reward from the universe. And all of that's being rewarded by good things happening to you. Money coming into you. Prosperity, abundance coming into your life. Business going good. Success is happening. Wealth is pouring out to you left and right. You're comfortable where you are. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It seems as though you became more successful and abundant once this person could have left you. I'm getting someone may have ghosted you and it could be a Virgo. Wow. What is the Knight of Swords? And of course, guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you. All right, so Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, so it's like now this person who's wanting to send you a message to get your attention after they have ghosted you, now someone is wanting to take action to talk to you, send you a message, whether this is a DM, email, text message. They want to send a message to you that now someone is wanting to rush in to defend this situation. They want to put work into this situation now. They want to make the effort after someone possibly have ghosted you. Hmm. Yeah. See, the thing is, this person, wherever they are, they're overthinking situations. This is someone that can't believe that they had an earth angel. It's like they feel trapped. They feel stuck in whatever mind state or situation that they're in. The whole time, I feel like you were this earth angel. And this person didn't know you brought a lot of peace and balance and harmony to this person's life. You try to be sensible. And I feel like that's all they can think about. But now you have change. You know, queen of swords. You know, you putting your foot down. You're standing on business. Some of you guys could have been very cold and direct with this person. But you get tired of being eaten alive, you know. Yeah, you're working on your healing. And now that you heal and you've gotten over this person, they're in a lot of great remorse and regret here. Yeah. Wow. All right, Collective, this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.